when you're farming alone and you got the truck and the combine, the only thing you can do is take one, clean it up, put it up, and then walk out across your farm to where you left your truck. But it's a nice walk. Thought it'd be interesting. I, I know this spot in my mind. I can look at it in my mind anytime I want to. But I thought I'd make a video of the walk. And then on a rainy day, if I want to look at it, I can look at it for real on the computer screen. I want to get back on this project this winter of trimming these uh, bushes back. I'm, I'm missing about three or four foot of road over here. Scott did a fine job on that field right out there. Where he it's been a long 10 hour Saturday. That, that field knolls up there and you're only seeing half of it because on the top of that knoll, the other half of it slopes off down towards that uh, pretty grassy meadow strip. But uh, let's see, planted it Saturday. Look about next Tuesday. I'm supposed to get rain Friday, so that'll help the seed germinate. Gotta clean that brush pile up. Most of that stuff that that uh, last hurricane. I forgot the thing. What the heck was the name of that? Matthew. Yeah. I just that tree top snapped out, and I just drug it off in there. I need to cut it up, clean it up. But this bush right here is the one that caused me to have to veer off into the field. When you're taking the combine back to the shelter, all these branches right here could possibly, maybe, might poke a hole in that rotating screen that uh, where the motor fan pulls air through the radiator. That would tick me off pretty bad to tear that thing up like that, not thinking. The other thing that would really tick me off, these older combines don't have the push button retractable augers like uh, the newer stuff. So you get out of the combine, you manually extend the auger. And if you were to forget the auger was out and drive by those trees and damage the auger, that would really take me off. This is the old pond. It's probably an acre and a half. It's good and full right now. There's a big spot over there. I don't know how the camera does. I'll walk over here to give you a better view. All this we just let grow up. We used to keep this place real nice and then trespassers got to be a big problem because we're so close to a town. <coughs> you know, I don't mind somebody come down here and fish and enjoy being here, but leave a bunch of beer cans and trash. Just enough to tick you off. But all those little trees, little maples, that one was always there, that big one. But all those grew up when we just stopped tending this place. We used to keep it like a park down here. But the original pond was over here. Granddaddy, a team of mules, and a little pan came in here and dug this out back in the 40s. You see somebody's left a chair down here. Just throw it right, well, there it is. I guess they figured they'd leave their chair so when they come back, they'll have it. But the pond is very full right now. It would, uh, if you can see the dam right over there, it could rise another foot, foot and a half before it started crossing over down at that corner. Yeah, Matthew brought a lot of rain in here. It's good to see the pond full. I like it when it's full. Well, there's the truck that I came to get. So, I'm so happy to be through cutting, picking group five beans. 
and little short things are a royal pain. Cousin Scott has got you know, a two acre piece straight over that way on the other side of those trees. They're not quite ready yet, but uh, he's got to pick those. And that's a tough field to pick because it slopes. It's only a 13 foot wide head, but it's still wide enough that you can get into trouble on turns in it. Uh, and then he's got two little small pieces kind of over in his backyard. The first year I talked him into planting them, I said, look, I'll give you the seed, just plant it. And uh, he did. And if it had been a full acre, I figured out the square footage on it, it would have made 70 bushels to the acre. But land had laid out for so long and rested and build, had time to build up its nutrients from the little critters that do their thing inside of the soil. That's what this whole farm needs is to just lay out and rest. You know, God told his people thousands of years ago something called Jubilee. Because they've worked seven years and then take a year off. Well, most everything was an agricultural society back then. So that basically meant don't plant, let the uh, land rest. God knew what he was talking about. Of course, he always knows what he's talking about. I'm just blessed, so blessed that I can hear him when he's talking to me. Okay, truck, let's me and you go back to the house.